uh, the intelligent people because they can relate to this very fine subject matter of the soul and they can relate to the urgency of taking to spiritual life. So to teach intelligent people is that we, this parokshal vat is engaged, meaning you teach people through the true stories. Like for example, if I were to say uh, to all of you, I'm here to talk to all of you uh, unintelligent, lazy people or lusty people, immediately you become offended. Who is this rascal from South Africa coming here to tell us we are lazy, we are lusty, you know? Immediately, you don't want to relate to that. But if I say there was a Ravana, and Ravana, although he was wealthy, uh, he was keeping so many women. His thirst for power, for money, for women, for conquest could not be quenched. And because of his greed and his lust for material things, he even tried to steal the wife of the Lord, Sita Devi. And because of that, he was warned many times, give up Sita, give him back to Ram. This will cause your demise. Ravana wouldn't listen. Even Lord Ramachandra during the, the war told him, look, if you surrender now, and you give up Sita, we can stop this war, I can restore all your men, and we can all forget this war ever happened, no one would remember, and you can have your kingdom. Still, Ravana, he wouldn't give up his quest to be the most uh, controlling, enjoying person. So in this way, when we hear the story, because you are intelligent people, you think, wow, maybe I should not become like Ravana. Maybe I shouldn't be greedy for material things. Maybe I should also control my lust. Look how his greed and lust led him to lose his entire kingdom, with all its opulences and even his reputation. Because forever and ever, people will be speaking about the infamy of Ravana. So in this way, the stories, they help us to see ourselves in those characters. And because we are intelligent, discerning people, then we pick up the lessons from there. Uh, and we don't feel that our personal identity or ego is being attacked. So I see you are nodding your head. So it, it's a good way to teach, right? Thank you. <laughs> so I, I will uh, tell another story. These stories are... Three minutes, it's over. Three minutes, it's half an hour. Okay. It's half an hour, okay. It seems that somehow it's everything's still intact. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I will... In some, I will close off and just touch on a subject which is very dear to Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada is just like Srila Rupa Goswami. We offer the prayer, Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Stapitam Ena Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadati Papadantika, glorifying Srila Rupa Goswami to be the person who knew the mind of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and who has established the desires of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this world. And that desire of Mahaprabhu is to reclaim all of us who are now in this material world, which is creating so much difficulties for us. Look at us now, we are all in this pandemic. This is all the troubles that are being brought by material nature. And so Srila Prabhupada, following the Goswamis who were living under different trees, 
who were absorbed in hearing about Krishna, remembering Krishna, and writing books, extracting the essence, Nana Shastra Vicharanaita Nipuno, Sad Dharma Samstapoko, Lokanam Hitakarino, Tribuvane, Manyo Saranya Karo, Lokanam Hitakarino, very much concerned about the entire planet. They wrote these books and they took the essence of the Vedic knowledge and presented it. So Prabhupada, in that mood, he wrote many books. And these books are containing the wisdom that will help the conditioned soul, you and I, and everyone else, to rise above these modes of nature which are oppressing us. And to rise to the occasion to realize and sensitive to the fact that we are the soul and we don't belong in this world, we belong in the spiritual world. And so Srila Prabhupada said, just like my Guru Maharaj, he wanted these books to go everywhere. He said, I was not in favor of temples more than I was in favor of printing books. He told Srila Prabhupada at Radhakund that I've built this beautiful temple in Bagh Bazaar, it's made of marble, but now my followers, my disciples are fighting. Who will occupy this room? Who will occupy this room? So he felt better. I strip this temple of all the marble, sell the marble, and print some books. So Srila Prabhupada said, I picked up this mood from my Guru Maharaj that books are very important. Why? Because he felt, we just heard books, Bhagavad Gita. He felt that books were like a big pridanga. The pridanga drum, we, we can beat it in the temple and hear it on the streets, a few people can hear. But the books are like a very big drum, they can be heard all over the world. And so Srila Prabhupada said, just as my Guru Maharaj was pushing us to distribute books, I am also pushing, I am pushing everyone. And his request was that you please help me to fulfill the desire of my spiritual master to distribute this literature, which is full of the desires of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and our parampara. And so one way that Srila Prabhupada is very easily pleased and gives mercy to us is if we assist, we assist him in distributing the literatures. I see there there's, is it in, in, in Russian and one in, in Deutsch? Okay, very wonderful. So this Bhagavad Gita is Krishna himself. It is the form of Krishna, two types of Krishna Kata. Bhagavad Gita, which is coming directly from Krishna's own lips. And Shrimad Bhagavatam is Krishna Kata, where the glories of Krishna are being narrated by the devotees. These two books are important in the world because they counteract the Ramya Kata, which the world is absorbed in, right? We are absorbed from the news, from the internet, from the newspapers, so much material sound. But this Bhagavad Gita and Shrimad Bhagavatam are transcendental vibration, and when they are heard by different people, then immediately they create a revolution in the heart. And they can transform people's lives. I'm sure sitting here in the temple room, most of us read or heard something from these books. It changed the course of our lives. So we are always trying to encourage each other to be of this message and try to give people books. So I end with one story that in Venezuela, it is said how the books started the movement. Some persons got the books in another country. They went back to their own country. And having read these books, they understood we should chant the holy name of Krishna. We should follow the regulative principles. And they started to congregate together to chant and to read these books. And eventually they were invited, they invited Srila Prabhupada to come and preach. So 
you can see that Prabhupada, who is the main preacher, that he is the one who is preaching. We are repeating his words and the parampara. In these books, Prabhupada's best preaching is contained. He said, these books are my personal ecstasies. He said that whatever I wa had wanted to say has been written in these books. So, and he said to himself, what use is your five minutes talking if you don't give them a book? So the books uh, is Prabhupada's way of always preaching. Prabhupada said that when he was asked, someone said, so in Australia, uh, what will happen after you die? And even before finishing those words, Papa said, I will never die. Everyone was shocked. Wow. And when everyone was taken by that statement, I shall never die. I will never die. Papa explained, I will always live through my books. So distributing these books means we're distributing our savior and our one who shaved us and saved us. We're distributing Srila Prabhupada to everyone. So please do take the opportunity when you can to connect to some books, call someone, uh, give a friend, a relative some of the books. This will be very, very pleasing to Srila Prabhupada. And therefore his mercy will flow into your lives. I hope also to distribute more books. You please bless me also. Shila Power Party Key. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much, Prabhu, for your wonderful association and your nice stories. Thank you, thank you. So now I'm going to ask anybody here, is anybody going to take one book here or two? And then Himanga is going to take. So we are going to sign your name in the books on your behalf, so we will always remember you on this particular day. So Himanga is opening the Bhagavad Gita. I take two do books. It, do it in front of the camera so you can see. Yeah. Wow. So I, will, I will take two books. He is going to take two One books. Russian and one German. And, uh, and I will take also two books. Die. Well, this is four books, four. <laughs> so, are you going to write something? Please write down what Prabhu is telling you. <laughs> so we will you give us some... Uh, something to write in the book. You dictate him what he should write in the book. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hare Krishna, and then the person's name. Yes. Thank you for taking Krishna in the form of this Bhagavad Gita into your home and into your life. All right, he's writing. Okay. And then you can say, May the words of Krishna bring you joy. There's no more room. It's oh, yours. it's finished. That's the last line. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the name? What's your name? Savya Sachi Das, your servant. S A V Y A. So, may the words of Krishna give you. Always give you joy. Your servant, Savya Sachi Das. Okay. And then we write in uh, in the sir in uh, in how do you say this in German? Im Auftrag. Ordered by. Ordered by by you and Hemanga Gopal, he will go to sign because you ordered him. Okay? 
And then later on, we are going to sign four more books like this. Okay. okay? So we don't want to take much more of your time. Thank you very much. Wait a second. I want to have this text. Nice. Um. Okay. Show the book to the Prabhu so you can see what you wrote. Wow. <laughs> it's a whole paragraph. I, you, <laughs> we'll have to take maybe well, something else. Like Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, we we only have one Prabhu. He had a question, but we didn't want him to ask the question because then the class will take another two hours. <laughs> so he is going to contact you separately. All He's right. Ask you the question. He's asking what the question is. Why is the Earth flat and not round, or something like that? I have a question. So this is complicated. He, but okay. he will try to separate. But Himanga has a question. When you will come yes, again? Himanga. When you will come again to Germany? <laughs> as as soon as they say we should, uh, we can travel. Uh, we'll see how to. Yeah, how to come. So last time you made a tour to Germany and other countries? Yes, I I got to spend a month in Germany and I went to different temples. And uh, yeah, it was very wonderful to meet many of the devotees in Germany and hope to pick up the very nice habits of the German Yatra, like punctual activity. Mm. <laughs> The German morals. <laughs> Anybody else? And in fact, one inspiration I picked up from Germany yeah. is uh, uh, we Sankitan buses. I'm actually currently also just trying to organize one like that. So we can travel with books, we can go to the different towns and villages. We can bring kirtan and bring books and be able also to to live in there simply. So that I saw in Germany is going on, you know, so many buses with preachers who travel and distribute books. I thought that was very wonderful. You want the target? Okay. Um. Thank you very much for the yes. association. Also for your association and for talking about Srila Prabhupada so nicely. Uh, it is a fact Prabhupada is the founder Acharya of this International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And um, it is important that we realize this in our life. And even though everybody is being initiated by another uh, spiritual master, still Srila Prabhupada will always remain the founder Acharya of this movement for all times and the only one. So, and his books are so important. Thank you very much for reminding us of these things. Thank you. So, any more books for us? I do. Okay, that's it. Huh? We can conclude now. Okay. How come uh, you still have electricity? It looks like they were not dependable on their schedule, which is good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if it was German, it was going to be definitely six. So now we will show you the temple. We will show you Prabhupada and the deity. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We will show you the deity. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but it's here. Are you with us? Okay, not yes. Yeah, yeah, I should. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Namo Vishnu Pada, Krishna Pista, Bhutile, Shimati, Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Tinamine, Namaste, Saraswati Devi, Gauravani Pachayani, Nivisha Shunyavani, Pascha Tede Shikari. So, how are the key to it? And there uh, also we have to the Satvic succession. Ah, oh. ah. Yeah. All the gurus with uh, devotees stay here. Ah. The, the gurus. 
Uh, yeah, to last year also, but it's a little bit of suffering in the winter. <laughs> Oof. Every winter day. And we have also Maha from Vrindavan. These are clothes of uh, Gornitai from Krishna Balaram Mandir. Mm. You can see it. Yes, uh -huh. very beautiful. Uh -huh. And we have a golden throne. So this is um, because it said you should put the Srimad Bhagavatam on, on a, a worship it on a golden throne. Yes. 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 Come there, everyone needs to have nothing for him. Okay, I give you enough here. Yes. Talk to him so he knows what you're yeah. doing. So we are in two minutes. The altar will open. We'll show you the altar. And we okay. go outside, outside now. We have a... Now we're going to show you the library in the meantime. Hare Krishna. And we Wow. And, uh, the... and nice big pictures. Wow. It's all designed by Chakravarti, the uh, husband of Rashana. And this is the these are the the German German Bruce features. Ah. Bhakti Bhushana Swami, oldest, then Bhakti Baba Swami, Nanda Swami, Kandamakana Swami, and Krishna Kshetra Prabhu and Puravani Swami. So now we go to the temple. Admachatra Prabhu. Okay. Yes, we are Amen. Hey. 
que orar a San
So do you want to stop it now? Oh, yeah, uh, I'll have to go. I have something with Nairobi. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you so much. You can uh, say goodbye to the deities, Gonitai. Yes, Jai. Jai. <laughs> It's great, sir. Let's go. Prabhu Ki. Jai. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much, devotees. Hare Krishna. See you next time. Thank you. Yes. Hare Krishna. Hare Bol. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hemanga Prabhu. See you. Oh, thank you so much. So I will send you the PayPal now, just now. Okay. Oh, no problem, problem. Is it dollar or, or um, euro? What is that? Dollar? Huh? You can use dollar or euro, anything. Anything, okay. But it's generally, it works with dollars, PayPal. Okay. okay. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Okay, so.